delicious Barbie. Let's talk Dallas. We got DJ Good with it behind the camera. It's all good with the TV. It's our year anniversary, y'all. It's all good with the TV. Let's talk Dallas edition. So I got my sister here with Bella Dynasty. This is the hey. owner of Bella Dynasty, Sydney. So let us know who you are, how to find you, your social medias and all that. My name is Sydney. Follow me on Instagram, Miss Sydney Simone, the same on Snapchat, and follow my hair page, Bella Dynasty Hair. So how did you come up with Bella Dynasty? Well, I wanted, Bella Dynasty means beautiful kingdom. So I mm -hmm. wanted something feminine and that actually meant something to me. So you fancy, beautiful <laughs> kingdom. Mm -hmm. So what all do you plan on, like for 2019? Of course, you know, of course I've seen the hair. I've tried out the hair too, it's really good. And then um, with the lashes. Um, what else do you feel like you want to bring to your company? I want to eventually bring cosmetics in. You okay. know, I'm a makeup lover, so thanks, B. B. All the time. Yeah. All the time. <laughs> what do you feel like is the main motivation on why you started your hair business? I started my hair business because I actually wanted to just do something for myself, and I buy a lot of hair, and I know that <laughs> it'll sell, so hair pretty much sells itself and so that's something that I'm actually passionate about besides makeup okay and this is behind the grind so everybody always feel like you know when they go into business it's always easy what is your experience from starting from you know just the ideas and getting the paperwork done what do you feel like your experience of that and was it ever discouraging it wasn't actually discouraging just as long as you have a strong support system like my sister I go to her for everything she's really good with business as far as my biggest struggle so far I found that when people say no your family and your friends don't support you that's really true that's yeah. really true that's the main thing with business it's like I feel like regardless of what you're doing, it could be hair, it could be makeup, it could be whatever. That's the one thing that can really make you be like, well, damn, like, y'all like, you know, because you can, you can post something on Facebook like a meme or anything funny. You can post whatever. But when you post like, hey, I have a business, support me, Just go to my website, like, share my video. It's like, mm, nobody does anything. And I feel like that's a major thing in any industry because with owning a business, that that is not an easy thing to do because for one it takes up your mental capacity and for two it takes up your time and not only that you have a whole life you have a job you have whatever else so it takes a strong mind to be able to be like okay look this is something i'm gonna do regardless and you're gonna make it regardless but tell us a little background about you like have you always been into business or are you into any like what else do you do well pharmacy was my first love <clears throat> Excuse me. And I actually got into the hair business because um, my job shut down in last summer. And so I was really down about that. And with finding a job and me being in the industry for so long, I found that no other company was competitive with the pay or what I felt like I was worth for. So in order for me to get what I felt like I was worth, I felt like I had to go into business for myself and actually do something that I was known for and was passionate about. So was it something that like, like of course you're passionate about it, but it wasn't something that you always wanted to do or you all, you just woke up and like, okay, this is something that I can do. Because a lot of people feel like if they don't, if it's not something that they've been, a dream that they've been chasing all their life, that they can't do it when it's really possible as long as you put your mind to it. So being into the medical industry, and then transition over, okay, this is something that I really want to do for myself. How do you feel, like, do you feel like that was an easy transition for you? Or did you ever doubt yourself? Did you ever feel like this is not something I really know anything about? Like, how was the research process? It wasn't anything that I felt like I did, I wasn't knowledgeable about because <clears throat> I've purchased hair for years. Mm -hmm. I'm all about quality. And so... With getting in the business aspect, I felt like I had to do my research on that. And that part wasn't easy. But as far as doing research on, like, the quality of hair and stuff, I've already known that. Yeah. 
Okay. Well, let me know what else you have coming for. You know, let them know your website, um, what you have coming for the year, as far as like if you have any specials coming up. What's coming up Easter? So I know everybody gonna be wanting to get fly for Easter. So make sure y'all go to the website, shoot out your website, and all that. Well, definitely check out. I run a special every month. I choose a different texture. So check out that. Right now, I'm currently running the, it's the Bella Body Wave. That's the current texture of the month. That actually ends today. So go ahead and check that out. <clears throat> My website is belladynastyhair.com. So make sure you check that out. And also, again, follow me on my social media, Miss Sydney Simone and Bella Dynasty Hair. What texture is that that you have in now? That's this pretty. is our Bella Curly. What inch is that? This is a 16 inch. Okay. 16 inch and you got an enclosure? The yes, ma'am. Who do you have? Um, Pilar Hansen, Let's Talk Pretty underscore on Instagram. Okay, let's talk pretty, let's talk pretty, let's talk pretty, let's talk And do you have on your lashes today? I do. Okay, what, which one are those? These are the Sal Bella. Okay, so you got Bella Dynasty, you know, Sydney, follow her, and it's Let's Talk Dallas, you already know. It's our one year anniversary, it's it 